Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. I've got an actual unboxing um, for the Chanel and uh, I actually trying to find this item for a few months now. I've been bugging my SA and um, even before the lockdown, I first saw this online and it was actually during the was it the pre-spring summer collections, if I'm not mistaken? And I've been asking my SA to see if she can get it for me. And it's been a few months now. And eventually, just when the Chanel boutique was open last week, and she sent me a text message yesterday that she managed to find it. It is not uh, very often you find this available on a boutique. There was one time that she actually offered me, but it was a smaller size, which I don't particularly like. I like the bigger ones. And um, I was so happy that she actually got it. And um, yeah, I went to the Chanel boutique and I picked it up today. And I was so surprised before I go to the actual unboxing itself. I was so surprised to find it in Canada. The Chanel price actually increased very similar to Europe. It is not as um, as low as the United States. Canada price increase is actually much higher than US and I think it's because of the exchange rate the US currency is actually a, a very strong currency at the moment and that's why other non-US country like the European countries and even Canada included has suffered dramatically because of that exchange rate and because of that um, in Canada our Chanel price actually increased very close to Europe. The mini rectangular now it's cost five thousand Canadian dollars. That is nearly I think that is nearly twenty percent. It's just about eighteen percent if I'm not mistaken. And the mini square is actually increased to nearly 30%. That is even worse than Europe because the mini square is now 4,800 Canadian dollars. That is up from 3,800, I believe. It was priced just around under 4,000 before the price increase. Now it is 4,800 Canadian dollars. So those are the two prices that I'm aware so far. And I don't have the prices for the classic flaps because I was there just to pick up these. But anyway, with the actual unboxing itself, let's have a look at the... This is actually the first time I'm seeing it because with the um, items I've been trying to get hold of uh, since early this year, and my SA, she was trying to get it for me. So when she sent photos of it yesterday, I actually um, say, okay, I want it. I have not seen it in person. I have just seen the pictures of it and I decided I want it because I know it is extremely difficult to get the item. So let's have a look and let me just show you what the items that I was referring to and again it is such a beautiful packaging that my essay was doing for this bag I can't wait to see the actual color because I was trying to find this in black but I understand that the item itself it is not very often it comes by in Canada so I'm not gonna be fussy with the color I just want the particular item itself and I'll be more than happy even if it's not in black there is no booklet I think this is actually considered as an SLG and that's why there is no booklet Oh my goodness. Wow. This looks so much nicer in person. She did not take a very good picture yesterday when she sent it to me because it was really dark. So I wasn't expecting it to be this blue, but oh my goodness.
So this is the vanity mini that everyone is talking about. It is extremely rare to get and Chanel has just released a few different colors. It was initially launched early this year in black and it was virtually sold out everywhere. So for the summer collections, Chanel actually released quite a few. There's one in pink and I think there's one in purple and this is the blue one. It is in the caviar leather and the sticker is still in there. So this is the Chanel Vanity Mini. And yes, you can fit in your phone. And let me just show you. It is the 299 series. So it's very close to 3. And it does have the chain strap that you can pull. And let me just show you how it looks like on the inside. It is in fabric materials and it does have a few cut slot and it does have a lipstick holder on the side. And this is the famous Chanel Vanity Mini that I've been trying to get hold of since early this year. I've been bugging my SA and I'm so lucky and fortunate to get this. I'm not fussy about the colors because I do like this blue color. I wasn't expecting it to be like a baby blue color. It does look like a baby blue and it's definitely a little bit darker than the Tiffany blue but it is not a bright blue it's more like a the camera doesn't show just this because it's more lighter it's actually lighter than the what the camera is showing at the moment it is more like a sky blue just like a shade darker than the sky blue and I love the color I'm going to take some pictures and I will post it on my Instagram account. And let me just share with you the price of this, what I paid for. I believe this particular price was not adjustable for the price increase because I remember seeing this early this year price at 1900 and I paid 1975 Canadian dollars plus tax. And it is from the 20S2 collections and it is in blue and the code for this is N0902 for someone that is interested with the color code that is the code and it is more like a sky blue instead of what the camera is showing at the moment I'll see if I can just slightly cover it a little bit it's definitely lighter than what the camera is showing. And thank you so much. If you do have any questions or comments, please do so in the sections below. And just to let you know that I'm actually selling uh, quite a few SLG on my Instagram account. And those are new SLG. And I do have items available on my Instagram account that are available posted. And those are brand new. So if you're interested in any of um, items such as Chanel Louboutin, um, please follow me on my Instagram account because I do keep on updating some items that are available nearly every day. So please follow Follow me on my Instagram account to have a look at what are the items that's available. Thank you so much.